Here's another short video in our series on using Photoshop and this one we arrived at this image here from um, from one of the stock photos we had so uh, I'll go to the uh, the original stock photo image and um, I'll just get that to fit in the picture here so um, I you can see I cropped that fairly heavily if I go back to this one here it's um, fairly dramatic dramatic cropping so I'll go in and do the cropping on this one and um, chop out the bit I want to use and I'm going to actually be deleting pixels note that this delete crop pixels checkbox is actually checked to say I want to delete the crop pixels um, so that's about the area I want to get there and um, now I can do a quick selection of this woman and, and so I'll, I'll won't be too fussy here because for the just to speed up the video um, I'll try and quickly get the thing selected actually that's done it pretty well already and I'll go to my refine edge tool here and just put my usual settings in I'm not uh, going to any particular number here I'm just gonna have a, having a bit of a guess and then I uh, get a, a suitable uh, brush for the smart radius and and, uh, and click around here I'll just make that slightly bigger and then just paint over the edges where the strands of hair are to see if I can pick up some of those strands of hair more effectively and, uh, and again I'm not going to be too critical here just move this out of the way a little bit and do this side and just improve that selection a little, a little hopefully okay that'll do me for this pur for the purposes of this and instead of just getting a selection I'll choose a new layer with a layer mask and um, and that should apply that so we've got the original layer underneath and here's the layer mask here if I right click on that and say apply layer mask it just gets rid of the mask now and it's just the image by itself there um, all ready to go okay now um, well, I'm going to be using the layers panel a bit here so I'll just bring this up a little bit so you can see more clearly what I'm up to okay and here I'm going to go to the um, to the button that allows me to create a new fill or adjustment layer hold down my alt key and click on uh, posterize which is down at the bottom here and it's saying what do you want to call this one now uh, I'll leave it as posterize and even although we don't use it Z's in our language and um, in, in the mode I'm going to change that to luminosity now you won't actually see I'll just bring this dialog up here so you can see all the choices I've got here and it's luminous luminosity I'm after and I'll okay that and I'll change my levels to maybe a little bit more than that maybe around the oh, eight should or yeah, let's see I'll try the seven seven's good okay and um, I'll minimize that there and now so we've got the new posterized layer there and then I'll add another layer here so I've got uh, again I've got this layers panel pulled out just so you can more see more easily what I'm doing here um, I'll go to my um, create new filler adjustment layer button again down the bottom of the layers panel hold down my alt key again click on that and this time I'm going to go to brightness contrast and I'll just get rid of the number one here and I'll um, choose an a overlay blend this time so uh, change the blending mode to overlay and I'm not going to actually put any values in here I'm just going to leave it as it is because so with that switch I'll just switch on and switch off and you'll just see it, it just intensifies things a bit so we're already getting the where we want to go to um, and now with this uh, with the all the pictures of the face here I'll just shift click on the background copy so that, that'll select the top three layers the visible layers here and I'm going to convert that to a smart object by just um, right clicking on here and saying convert to smart object and it'll take all those three layers and, and make them into a smart object then you may have noticed that when I tried to right click on one of the adjustment layers it came up gray I needed to right click on the actual layer of the woman's face there okay now I've got that as a, a smart object I can apply uh, filters easily and so I'm going to just go to filter uh, noise median and I'm going to give it a median noise of six and 
if I switch the preview on and off you just see the difference that that makes it doesn't make a big difference but it's just going to help things a little bit and then I'll go to my filter blur Gaussian blur and I'll set this at a fairly low setting around 1.2 okay and that's and so to switch those things off and on just to see what impact it's having you you'll see that it hasn't got a massive impact but um, that that grip gets the image the way we wanted it the other thing I did then was how are we going for time on this video five minutes I'll just very quickly see if I can go to my bridge and go to the other image I had here open this up and what I did with this one was I uh, I dragged it in as a background in fact uh, in this case I'm going to when this eventually opens up it's taken a little bit of time the the computer's chugging away here uh, I'll just put my layers panel back where it was so that um, we can see more easily what's going on here and uh, so I've got th this image here I'll um, I'll get the woman's face and I'll bring that off the panel here off the dock and I'll just drag that layer onto the um, the timber uh, thing we've got here and I'll put this back on the dock again and so now here I've got this woman on on this layer so I'll go to my move tool bring her down here somewhere and uh, and m maybe just go control T to make this bigger and double click on there and then the, the other thing I did here was I just went to a quick um, filter on the background and I, I, I actually suggested you use a couple here but I, what did I go to uh, distort I think twirl and then um, I haven't got enough RAM okay well you can play with that yourself just putting it uh, was just simply putting a filter on the background and it turned out something like that with a bit of a twirl colorizing it and then putting some some uh, filter ref more filter effects on it but that should give you a bit of an idea of how we accomplished what we were trying to do there